What's going on YouTube? Back at you with another video, part three for my DIY solar project. Let's see what I, I show you what I've gotten installed this far. Uh, sorry I don't have any time-lapse video. The uh, light was, the sun was going down so I was losing light and the GoPro doesn't do very well for low light situations. So I will show you what I have gotten done and uh, here we go. So you can see I got my equipment ground in. Got a bus bar installed into the junction box. The ground goes down and out the wall there. I ran it in conduit so they don't get frowny that it's just bare wire. Go around the wall here. Hopefully we can see it. There's, yeah, there's still enough light. Comes out the wall. And got the ground rod installed. That was definitely interesting to install. That thing's eight feet long. And it was surprisingly easy. I couldn't believe how easy it went in. I was able to drive it in just by hand most of the way the last 18 inches I had to use the hammer on but uh, I just put a little bit of water in the hole slid it down a little bit lifted it back out put some more water in and just it's just sank right in it was fantastic all right let's open up the box you can also see the conduit running down from the attic I got that in. That's coming from the main panel. We'll go out there. I'll show you what I did out there. Got the wiring coming in. And we got it wired into the main panel. You can see an extra wire right here. That is actually for the consumption CTs, which I have to install into the main panel but those haven't been wired in yet. So this wire will wire into the IQ Envoy to track how much power I'm using from the grid. This is a CT right here, if you don't know. This is the production CT that that's, comes in the box. So here's the main lines coming in right here. Got the neutral and the ground wired in, the neutral on the ground. So that does it for in here. Uh, I will take you out back and show you what else I got done. All right. So, let's go ahead and uh, take a look, show you what I got done. So I got the meter socket installed and the disconnect. Here's the conduit coming down from the attic. Meter socket and disconnect. Take the cover off. Set that aside. See if we can open this up and show you the inside of it. Set that down too. Get a light on there. There we go. Maybe that'll show a little bit better. Probably don't need much. Actually, that's showing quite well. Don't need light. All right, so you can see the wires coming in from the top, wire in through the meter socket. Again, this is for the consumption of CTs. I just, uh, it's wrapped around down in here, and then I have it sticking back up in there just to kind of hold it in place. So, there's a lot in there at the moment, but uh, 
that's just the extra cord. I just wanted some place to put it that was clean and out of the way. That's the disconnect. I have the string in there running through this conduit so that I can pull the consumption CTs, the, the wiring for the consumption CTs through the conduit once I get those installed. Those will install in the main panel here. The bottom right breaker is for the solar. If you've seen some of my other videos, that breaker right there is actually for my grid tied inverter that's connected to the solar on my trailer. That's the only thing on that breaker. But, I mean, it's not a lot for this video. I understand that. I apologize. I've been working a lot, picking up a lot of overtime. So I've been, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to work on my solar. But there'll be more to come. Well, YouTube, that does it for part three on my DIY solar. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more I Can Do It Myself videos. See you on the next one. Laters.